Hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Purpose People Praying Church. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> hey y'all, hey. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. If you are seeing this video, good morning. If it's the afternoon when you're seeing it, good afternoon. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey y'all. Hey. Hey y'all. Hey. Oh Jesus. I don't about lost my voice. Glory to God. Conference this past weekend, Game Changers Emerge was amaze balls. Hallelujah. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Thank you, God, for the new mercies this morning and for waking us up. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, y'all. Hey. If my voice goes in and out, I do apologize. Y'all got a pimple. Bless Jesus. I thought it was a booger. Anyway, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Well, this morning, it's going to be a little bit different. Hallelujah. It's going to be a little bit different. The Holy Spirit just dropped some stuff on me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The 30th of this month will be the one year, one year anniversary of Purpose People Praying group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to clap, go on and clap. Hallelujah. This will be one year of consistency. Glory. And you have to be consistent. Thank you, Jesus. Let me go ahead and do this. If you have a prayer request, go ahead and put it up. Hallelujah. And we'll do the prayer request. But basically, it's like church announcements. Glory. Um, This will be the one year anniversary. Thank you, Lord. Of Purpose People Praying group. This has been one year of consistency. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I know Facebook deleted a lot of the videos and a lot of the prayers. That is why I had to download 5 a.m. prayer and put it on YouTube so that the content wouldn't be lost. A lot of those teachings spur the moment that the Lord was dropping nuggets, Facebook deleted so, <laughs> I had to put those things on YouTube. So, Purpose People Praying Church has a YouTube channel. Glory. Purpose People Praying Church has a YouTube channel so that we don't lose content. Hallelujah. One day, we're going to have a place that has content where we don't have to worry about getting deleted because it's going to be our own platform. We're going to speak that thing into existence right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. But this has been one year of consistently praying at 5 a.m. This has been one year on the 30th of July where we have been consistently praying at 5 a.m. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that one more time. This has been one year Come the 30th of July, where we have been praying at 5 a.m. on Mondays. And this will be the one-year anniversary of Purpose People Praying group. Hallelujah. We've reviewed on how to pray scripture. Yes, we have, Lord. We've reviewed how to heed to the Holy Spirit to know what to pray. Thank you, Jesus. And... One year of consistency should mark one year of growth. Hallelujah. This ain't a whooping. 
bless Jesus. This is just an informative summary of one year, one year anniversary of the group because the purpose of purposed people, hallelujah, is to prepare you for your ministry. Mm -hmm. Yes, because we know a few months ago it became a church. Hallelujah. This is now purpose people praying church. This church is to prepare you for your ministry. This church is to activate you in said ministry. This church is to propel you to go ye unto all the nations in said ministry in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Give me a thumbs up if you're with me. I don't want to lose no one. Hallelujah. I don't want to lose anyone. Thank you, Lord. So the Holy Spirit dropped on me this morning. All I was trying to do was get the eye boogers out of my eye. Y'all know how it go. Hallelujah. That I will no longer be the only one coming on to do 5 a.m. prayer. Okay. I will no longer be the only one coming on and doing the teaching. Glory, <laughs> you will start to see new faces as the Holy Ghost elects. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to say that one more time. You will start to see new faces as the Holy Ghost elects because this has been one year of training. <laughs> One year of training because even though Facebook deleted some old teachings and some old videos and some old prayers, the Holy Ghost will bring them things back to your remembrance. Glory to God. <laughs> so, we've been one year, you guys, of training. Uh -huh. You've been in training. If you ain't know it or not, <laughs> you have been in training. Thank you, Jesus. So, in the near future... You will see different people coming on to do prayer. You'll see different people coming on to do teachings. Y'all, they, they pimple, it they don't make no sense. Anyway, you will see different people coming on to do teachings. Glory. Because we have been in one year of preparation, and it is time. It is time for those who are truly ready for the ministry to be activated and it is time for you to come forth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is time for you to come forth. Thank you, Lord. We have, I know Christina, it looked like she just dropped off. I don't know if she did or not, if she's still here. Hallelujah. She does cosmetic, but the Lord is working through her mightily, building confidence in women she talks to you gives her testimony and stuff while she's doing her makeup and it is powerful y'all hallelujah so she has elevation cosmetics anyway god is doing a new thing this season glory and we just gonna move by the holy spirit as we all should thank you jesus again if you have a prayer request go ahead and put it on the screen so this is technically a church announcement so for those of you who have been in training for the year, for those of you who have been in training and just hopped on the group a month ago, hallelujah. If the Lord planted on me, thank you, Jesus, to reach out to you and be like, hey, y'all, hey, girl, hey, sir, um, do you want to? Would you be willing? Don't be surprised. Hallelujah. Because I'm not here to get inflated, first of all. I'm not here to get inflated. My job is to prepare you and to activate you to go unto the nations. Glory. So you'll start to see different faces in the coming weeks um, that'll be doing teachings and everything. I know Prophetess Ashley shares a lot of her videos in the group. So that is another phase that is really heavy in the ministry. She has a powerful prayer ministry that she does at 730 
and she shares those videos in the group and she also does um noonday prayer for seven ministries hallelujah but she shares those videos in the group but hallelujah in the future it won't be just my mug you see thank you jesus thank you lord we thank you lord god for the one year anniversary that will take place on the 30th of july hallelujah we thank you lord god that we have been in a year of preparation we thank you lord god that this is the season that you will activate us in our ministries hallelujah we thank you lord god that you have prepared us and activated us to go ye unto all the nations and proclaim the gospel of jesus christ we thank you lord god that big brother jesus has prepared the way for us to proclaim his name he has taught us via the holy spirit on how to operate in excellence how to operate in truth and how to operate in long suffering in your son jesus christ's name right now anyone who is suffering from diabetes we tell diabetes to go in the name of jesus and and be ye healed right now in Jesus' name. Lord God, we thank and praise you for waking us up this morning. We thank you, Lord God, for being a God of old. We thank you, God, for being the ancient of days. We thank you, Lord God, for preparing a way for us so that we, Lord God, can know how to get to the Father, so that we, Lord God, can strive and endure this race unto the end, Lord God, so that we can have the boldness necessary to just proclaim your name, God, hallelujah, the boldness to put away the old man, in spite of what other people would have to say, the boldness, Lord God, to walk up to any and every stranger, Lord God, to make sure their soul is in right standing with you so that they may see their mansion, Lord God, when this life comes to a close. We thank you, Lord God, that we have victory in Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that we will conquer more. We thank you, Lord God that we will do greater works. We thank you, Lord God, that you have prepared us in the mighty name of Jesus to do exactly what you said we would do by the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord God, that anything that we ask in your name, it shall be done. We thank you, Lord God, for the apostles that will emerge from this group, Lord God. We thank and praise you for the pastors that will emerge from this group, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the psalmist and the minstrels that will emerge from this group. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for the entrepreneurs doing marketplace ministry that will emerge from this group, Lord God. We thank you for teachers and preachers, Lord God, that will emerge from this group. In the name Name of Jesus, we thank you for pros pro we thank you, Lord God, for prophets that will emerge from this group. In your son Jesus name, we thank you, Lord God, for evangelists that will emerge from this group in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank and praise you that in the coming months where we are summoned to travel, Lord God, where we have different destinations, Lord God, to go to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ, to issue up deliverance and healing, Lord God, to let people know the goodness of the Lord, that we will have traveling mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Any one's dwelling that has been hit with COVID-19. Lord God, we pray them healed right now in Jesus Christ's name. We pray, Lord God, that any symptoms, Lord God, dissipate and go away right now in Jesus Christ's name. Anyone who has overcome COVID-19 that has any residual symptoms, we tell, we tell their bodies in the name of Jesus to be healed completely in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Lord God, we thank and praise you that we can speak a word in Jesus Christ's name and it is so 
plain and simple because Lord God, you have defeated the enemy. Lord God, you have conquered hell and death. Lord God, there is no power any unclean spirit, any demonic force would have over us because you sit on the right hand of the Father and because you have conquered it all, whatever we ask in your name, it shall be done. And it is just that simple. Lord God, we thank and praise you for expanding our understanding on your works. Lord God, help us to live by your example, whether it be walking in righteousness and holiness, whether it be praying a prayer of faith and watching your victory take place in front of our very eyes, where it is seeing how you operated in love and kindness to show love to the brethren, where believer or unbeliever. Lord God, help us to live up to your standard. Help us live up to your example in Jesus. Christ's name, we thank you. And we praise you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Any child that is suffering from any childhood sickness, whether it be ADHD or any other acronym, syllable, or diagnosis, we call them healed right now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of the lunatic in the mighty name of Jesus, we call it to go in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank and praise you that anyone who is in need of deliverance right now, Lord, God, that it is your, the children's bread in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is so in your son, Jesus name. We thank and praise you, Lord God, that any spirit of torment, any spirit of depression, any spirit of ex, of deep oppression, depression and anxiety has to go. Go now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that you have made us whole that we are made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, and we walk in all authority that has been placed upon us for the infilling of the Holy Spirit, Lord God, that we can tell a thing to move and it shall move when we proclaim it in Jesus Christ's name. We thank you, Father God, that anything we lack thereof, we can ask of you and receive it. Lord God, we call our wallets and purses blessed. We call the, the places of lack, Lord God, to be full of riches. We call our cabinets blessed, Lord God, and full of food. We call our bank accounts blessed and full of what we need. Lord God, pay anything that's delinquent in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we just thank and praise you, Lord God, for answering all of our prayers in your son, Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. Any prayer request, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Any prayer request, thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Any prayer request, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For whomever's mother's um, health is on a decline, we thank you, Lord God, that the person who is standing in the gap for their mother, Lord God, that their mom be healed completely and totally in the mighty name of Jesus, that their mother's last days will be full of joy in the mighty name of Jesus, where she has aches and pains in her body, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, where organs are malfunctioning, Lord God, we call their mother healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord God, that her brain will function to full capacity. We curse the spirit of stroke and we tell any residual malfunctions to go now in the name of Jesus. We say leave her body totally and completely. Lord God, we're praying for a 180 turnaround right now in this season. This season being this very hour in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank and praise you, Lord God. God, that their old mother, Lord God, how she used to be, the things that she used to be able to do will be back in this season, that she will be back to full capacity, giving you all the praise and the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you for what you are doing in this season. We thank and praise you that promotion cometh from you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we praise your name, Father. And Lord God, as we are in indecision, Lord God, concerning careers, concerning what to do with COVID-19, concerning how to operate in COVID-19, Lord God, we thank and praise you that you have all of the victory over any sickness. In the mighty name of Jesus, where people are choosing greed and money over wisdom, we thank and praise you, Lord, that you will raise up a standard, that you will raise up a way for your children to be protected in the mighty name of Jesus. But we thank you, Lord God, most of all, you are showing us through discernment who is for us and who is against us in the mighty name of Jesus, where our government will put us on the chopping block just for the almighty dollar. We thank and praise you that we serve the almighty God and we pray a hedge of protection over our children. We place a hedge of protection over every worker who has to go out and to the public. We thank and praise you, Lord God, that we are covered and protected from the spirit of malice, the people that will allow the devil to operate in them, licking on spirit bidding on all of these surfaces that we have to touch, Lord God, in, o in order to infect us with disease in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that we are covered under the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God, for you are awesome and you are mighty and there is nothing we can do without you, God. We thank you, Lord God. Salvation is our portion. We thank you, Lord God, for those who are seeking you will find you in this season, that they will have a deeper relationship with you in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank and praise you, Lord God, that you will move on the family members we are standing in the gap for. In your son Jesus' name, where the devil will try to rile up in them, Lord God, in order to break our spirits, Lord God, in order for us to throw in the towel when it comes to praying for them. We thank and praise you, Lord God, that the Holy Spirit and you, Lord Jesus, make intercession for us forever and daily. And we thank and praise you, Lord God, where we get weak and vexed, Lord God, you take it up. You take up the slack, Lord God. Help us to bear our cross daily in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to pray without ceasing. In your son, Jesus Christ's name, in Jesus' name, we thank you and we magnify you, Father God, for what you are doing in this season. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hear the Holy Spirit. Hear the Holy Spirit. Hear the Holy Spirit. That unction that you feel is not strange. It's not strange. That is the Lord speaking unto you and you can back up whatever you're being told by the word of God. Hallelujah. You know how people love to say big facts. Hallelujah. You know, the Lord is speaking to you because you can go to the word of God and find exactly what he is telling you to do. The word of God gives you an example on what he is telling you to do. It gets on my nerves when people try to tell me, hallelujah, on how we need to go to other books and how we need to seek other doctrine because the Bible was written by who said and the other. And I had to tell them over and over again, I don't give a nanny who, who wrote when and what. When the Holy Spirit talking to me, I have to reference it in the word of God. Hallelujah. I have to reference it in the word of God. Yes, when I am studying, the Lord will teach me to go through the internet, go down different rabbit holes in other books to get his whole point across. Hallelujah. But your main reference, your main go-to manual Hallelujah is the Bible. It is not the Quran. Mm -mm. It is not these other teachings. Mm -mm. The Holy Spirit. Hallelujah is not going to take you anywhere else as a point of reference. That's going to have nothing to do with Jesus. I'm going to say that one more time. Okay. Stay with me. The Holy Spirit 
when he is speaking to you and teaching you, is not going to take you anywhere else but the word of God when he is trying to give you a point of reference. Okay? For example, if the Holy Spirit is teaching you about your ministry, hallelujah, and you just happen to be a fashion designer, you doing something with clothing, Glory to God. He is not going to take you outside the Bible. Because guess what? It's in the word. Hallelujah. There was a clothes maker in the word. Her name started with a T. I'm just giving you a tidbit so you can go and look it up. Hallelujah. God, if he is having you become an iron worker, if you can make things and solder things with your hands, Hallelujah. Cain and his kinfolk. Y'all. Don't get pulled away by the foolishness. All right. That's that's basically what I'm saying. The Lord is not going to steer you away. From anything that doesn't reflect Jesus as being the son of God. Hallelujah. The Bible discusses Jesus in every capacity from every level. Hallelujah. That's the whole point. Folks get mad because God didn't discuss where Cain's wife and stuff came from. Guess what? God said them people weren't important because they wouldn't direct lineage of Jesus. Therefore, no matter what, when the Holy Spirit and the Lord is unctioning you and teaching you a thing, your first point of reference, and normally the main point of reference, is the Holy Word. Glory. Am I telling you that's the only book you need to read? No, it's not the only book I read. I'm telling you, as you're growing in the Spirit, your main point of reference The book that you need to be eating on every single day is the word of God. Hallelujah. Bless Jesus. Glory to God. I don't know who that was for. Hallelujah. But I'm glad you got it. Thank you, Lord. (laughs) Glad you got it. Any prayer requests? Bless Jesus. Any prayer request as we strive towards the mark of the higher calling in Jesus Christ. I pray the Lord just pour out an abundance of joy where we have indecision. Lord God, let us not move until you say so. God has had me in Habakkuk for the past week and I hadn't felt like I needed to move. Thank you, Jesus. And the um pre the preface of our of the sermon from yesterday was from Habakkuk. I thought he was gonna have me teach out that thing, but nope. Around one o'clock in the morning on Saturday night, aka Sunday morning, he was like, "No, we gonna talk about this." And I was like, "Okay, Lord, we gonna shift and pivot today, glory." But Habakkuk waited on the Lord. Him and the Lord had conversations. Habakkuk would play pray slash complain and he said let me wait and see what the Lord is going to say when we pray we have to wait and see what the Lord is going to say some of us make it up in our own mind on how we're going to move and then we'll just do what we feel is right in our spirit and then we be wondering, like, Lord, I just don't know. Well, you pray. You just didn't wait on the Lord to answer. That's why it's looking a hot mess. It ain't God. It's you. <laughs> you didn't wait on the answer. I done did it before, too. Hallelujah. I've done it several times. That's how I know. <laughs> you have to wait on the Lord's response. Not because something felt good to your shanana. Something felt good to your understanding. Because God had you doing something completely different than what you're comfortable with. Glory. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, we just plead the blood of Jesus upon every person that will watch this video right now and even on the playback. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that their week prospers as their soul prospers. We plead the blood of Jesus from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, whether people are in in indecisions, decisions just keep on coming up. Somebody got some major decisions 
some lifestyle change decisions coming up in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that their decision and their answer comes swiftly, but in right timing through you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, that they not get weary in well-doing. Lord God, we thank and praise you that the decision, Lord God, will not cause them to sacrifice their salvation in the mighty name of Jesus, where there's indecision and confusion. Lord God, we thank and praise you that you give them the understanding that you are not the author of confusion in the mighty name of Jesus, nor are you the issuer of unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God is not double-minded. Nope. God is not double-minded. Thank you, Lord. God is not double-minded. He will not have you starting a business that will promote unrighteousness. He will not have you taking a job that will promote unrighteousness. He will not have you going to a partnership, whether married or professional, that will promote unrighteousness and sacrifice your salvation. He won't do it for a minute, an hour, or a second, or a season. Hallelujah. So if your spirit is making you nauseous because that thing ain't right at all, that is not the Lord. Hallelujah. (laughs) That is not the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That is not the Lord. God is not going to sacrifice the opportunity not to see you in heaven. He not going to get that 50, 50 shot. Hallelujah. Jesus left the 99. Why could he leave the 99? You ask because the 99 either were in Jesus comfortable in the green pastures and they had one another to lean on so that he can go and search for the lost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. God is not going to sacrifice not one of you, not one of us. Nope, he is not. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, we plead the blood of Jesus upon every prayer that's prayed. My child, hollering for me, hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus over every prayer that's prayed, over every prayer that was prayed, even in our hearts and even in our thoughts. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that you answer them, God, expeditiously. Hallelujah. In this season, Lord God, cover us as we go to and from this week, Lord God, to work, to school. Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, continue to move on our behalf. We thank and praise you, Lord God, that you are living and everlasting and that you are always true and that your word will stand firm now until forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Stay tuned, you all. Hallelujah. We will have 730 ministry study later on this afternoon, and we're going to meet at a remote location in LaGrange, Georgia. So if you are in the LaGrange, Georgia area and want to meet physically for the ministry study, you may do so. We do have the Zoom room. (laughs) We have the Zoom room information in the announcements concerning ministry study. So if you want to join in at 730 today, Eastern Standard Time, you you are welcome to do so. Glory. Just have your notebooks and your Bibles ready. Thank you, Jesus. You all be blessed and have an awesome and mighty day. Bye, y'all. Bye.